Exactly. What is she, a fucking dog? <laughs> you know, at this point, you could have just gotten yourself a dog. The story would have been completely different. I guess... Uh, although, if you had a dog, maybe the story would have turned into John Wick. I don't know, whichever one. Hey guys, it's Ike, and welcome to the fourth episode of Happy Sugar Life. A little bit of a recap on what happened in the previous episode. Sato was this close to killing Asahi, who is Chio's brother. And uh, because she was taking too long coming home, Shio started panicking and she ended up leaving her castle in order to find uh, Sato. Because of this, uh, a bunch of, uh, bunch of intense moments uh, br brewed up. And eventually, Mitsuboshi is the person who found Shio, and you know, we, we've got all that fucking uh, great scene. Anyways, uh, we are now here to this point where Mitsuboshi was gonna take her home, and I don't know, gonna, I don't know whether he's gonna do something to her, but damn man, he better not. But, uh, yeah, he was about to take her home, but then he ended up getting his ass kicked by those two thugs from the previous episode, because it's, uh, it's their turf. So, uh, yeah, now we are here, so let us, uh, continue with this episode, or get started, I suppose, and, um, yes, my intro gets worse every time. <laughs> Alright, you know, it's a little bit inconsiderate of him, uh, Mitsuboshi, to, to fucking scream so loud when he's getting his ass kicked, am I right? Why can't he be a little bit quieter? There are people sleeping, you know? You beat him up that much, and you're like, yeah, we can't let him, him let, let anybody see him. Not with you now, am I right? Eh, it's okay, she's just a hallucination. Oh, we actually get to see your face. Look, man, yelling back for... Uh, yelling back at the scream isn't really gonna help you much, alright? How about you try going to the source first? Not really. No, yeah. The kid trying to find her isn't really... Yeah, let's get him over here and beat him up too. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Okay, first of all, I, I know she's unconscious and all, but like, you literally just grabbed her by her fucking pigtails. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she's. She's just off. You're not suspicious about that at all? What do you smell, or pussy? Like, oh shit, dude. <laughs> Just dropped her like that? Oh man. I don't get why he's trying to take the lead, even though she was the one who asked him in the first place, but... Uh, you gonna give her ecstasy while you're at it? Some crack? Tan her? Get her some tattoos with your name on it? How'd she do that? I mean, I guess she wrapped her hand around him and then fucking tased the back of his neck? She got you good, bro! What was that taser? A single- a single use charge? Got another taser in that bag. Well, there goes his eyeballs. I guess you can say he's probably not gonna be lo be looking the world in monochrome. Sato, after like stabbing some dude in the eye, pro possibly killing him, you shouldn't leave your fucking hood down. Just saying. I know Japan might be a safe place and all, but just saying, you can't be too careful. 
there's some there's some code cases that get cracked open like 20 years later so those eyes don't don't tell me that you love that feeling well that's because you fainted Shio music started playing and I immediately thought of Final Fantasy 10 <laughs> Exactly. What is she, a fucking dog? <laughs> you know, at this point, you could have just gotten yourself a dog. The story would have been completely different. I guess... Uh, although, if you had a dog, maybe the story would have turned into John Wick. I don't know, whichever one. It's all your fault for not having extra locks, am I right? What? For I thought you loved her! You gotta believe in her, Sato. Come on. What are you grabbing out? Damn, she's doing some maintenance work. Sounded like she was saying two different words. Sounded like she starts off saying hi, and then afterwards it was I. It's just my clients, okay. She has purple hair? Also love. See that filth behind you? That is also love. Whatever she's doing, are you allowed to do that in an apartment? I don't live in an apartment, so... Yeah, well, except for the time that she decided to run out of the house, but, you know. Uh-oh. She's lying! Why, Shio? Why? Why did you lie to her? What do you mean, maybe something scary happened? You were there, there were two dudes! And like, she was unconscious, alright? What? You... Maybe something happened. How big was that spot anyways, that you didn't see the, the fucking pee boy? No, if you gotta lock her in the house out of time, at least buy her a PS4 or something, you know? Give her a game console at least. Buy her a Switch, you know? So then, you don't have to use the TV as much. Ooh! Can you do that in an apartment? The happy sugar life is extra secure now. The sugar girl is Sato, right? Because Sato's name in English is sugar. Damn, how much is that? Yeah, why do you, why do you get to go around slutting, huh? I want to be a whore too. Mm, just casual grab of her boobs. Yes, no rules about anything. Hey, it's the teacher. Oh man. Ooh, instant erection. Am I right? <laughs> You're not home right now. What kind of computer is that? Why are you calling her every day? Why did you get rid of it? Are you stupid? Or is that her aunt? Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's a, little, it's a little bit too late for that, huh? You already got rid. You got. You already got rid of the evidence. Me neither. At least you and I have something in common. Except for that, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with you. Ooh, you better clean that up afterwards, buddy. Oh. What happened? Oh, shit! According to the rumors. Oh, well, she gets to go home early, you know? She never gets to go home early. Yeah, and what did you do? You just fucking ran away. Well, you know, she's getting ready for retirement. Oh, too bright. Somebody turn, turn down the lights for Sato, too. Not too dim, though. How long has he been working here? How long has he been working here, but he's taking time off? 
Well, he got fucking beat up, so, you know. He's doing some unpleasant things right now. Have you guys even been in this room? Like, ooh, what are you doing in there, Tayo? She was in your grasp, dude! She was in your grasp, but you let it go! You let her go! Come on, Mitsuboshi! Yeah, man, why are you- why are you keeping shield all to yourself, alright? Gotta share it a lolly. Hey, Shio, what are you doing? Ho oh, ho ho! I don't think she want to go back to her dad. Or her mom, I guess, at this point. I'm dirty! Your breast would get swished by my head. So concerned. You're calling her fat? Excuse me. Damn, you made her some sauceberry steak. Sauceberry steak and hamb uh, a hamburg. Sorry. Oh, what a precious moment. She does not look like she's in high school, in the, in that outfit of hers. It's all right to skip out on it sometimes, you know. Also, what are you doing? Wiping dry blood off the fucking wall with what? Just water and a towel? Excuse me. Yeah, cause it's fucking dried. Mm. Account balance. That's me every night. Just looking at my, <laughs> looking at my bank. I just want somebody to edit that part and just have her, instead of her mom that she drawn under, it'd just be Slender Man. It's a, it's a dead thing, but you know what? They're making a movie about it, so fuck it. We're uh, I'm, I'm bringing it back to life. Alright, so that was episode four of Happy Sugar Life. It was a nice receding episode. Uh, from the previous one, which was a, uh, a high, a high in demand kind of, uh, intense scenario. So I really liked, uh, this episode and how it treated it with the, uh, the conflict from the previous episode and just, you know, chill it down, put some fucking ice on that because last episode was fucking hot. Or I, well, I mean, in the, in the first segment anyways, that was still, we were still in like the, the fucking hot seat. With uh, Sato seemingly gouging out both of the guy's eyes. And you, you know what? The fact that she did it with relative ease. I know that the other guy got tased and the other dude got whack in the head. But honestly, when you're, when you're in a fight or flight mode, it's going to be a little bit difficult to actually kill somebody. But you know what? Fuck it. There's... It's a lot of it's a lot of things that I question about in Happy Sugar Life, but uh, I just kind of more or less I just like to question it for fun. It doesn't really uh, it doesn't really bother me as much. It doesn't really uh, interrupt my enjoyment of the series. Anyways, yeah, we've got that whole thing with her gouging both their eyes out, and then we had Mitsuboshi who saw uh, who saw Sato. Uh, later on, we see him again, where he is just, ooh, damn boy, he is just slobbering all over that wanted poster again. You know, he, he had her in the palm of his hand, literally, and then it got taken away from him and he got beat up so fucking bad. I, I, and uh, again, with uh, with uh, Sato thinking, oh, maybe somebody's seen us or something. That boy's fucking uniform is bright fucking green. It's like, it's, it's, it's lime green. And he has blonde hair. How could you not fucking see him wherever he is? He wasn't even by the fucking John. <laughs> he wasn't by the fucking bathroom. They didn't bring him over there before uh, before you came. 
But yeah, I don't, I don't know how you managed to not see him and why you didn't keep your fucking hood on, even though you have pink hair, so it'd really be easy to figure out who you are. Anyways, uh, getting away from that scene, we uh, got back to Shio again, and we find out that Shio is uh, lying to Sato, whether because she... Uh, you know, she's just lying to protect, uh, herself, or she's lying- well, I mean, actually, I mean, there, there's probably one reason why. Or maybe she just doesn't trust Sato at this point right now, because she's starting to remember her, uh, her mom. Uh, the other thing that I was gonna say is that maybe she's afraid that because she already broke the rule with Sato with, uh, not going out, maybe if she did tell her that she- you know, talk to somebody, maybe, uh, that person might get in trouble or she'll get you in, in uh, in more trouble. So, yeah, we had that with, uh, with Shio, and she's also scribbling some fucking shit in the closet. Don't know where she got that from. I don't know whether she has a black crayon or something, or what is that, a Sharpie? I don't know. But she's, uh, doodling a picture of her mom in the- in the back of the closet, and, uh, I really commend her for being able to draw all the way up to the head. I don't know how she managed to reach there, she looks pretty short, but according to how she easily unlocked the door and opened it, she's not that short. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we had that with Shio, and then going back to, uh, Sato again, she decided to enforce her castle by adding an extra lock on the outside, so even if Shio manages to unlock it again, she wouldn't be able to get out anyways, and, uh, if anybody can answer me this, whether you can actually do that in an apartment or not, that'd be nice, I don't live in an apartment, so, I don't know. If I see a house that has an outside lock, I'd be like, hmm, that's, uh, that's really weird. <laughs> And then moving over to, uh, Kita Mikawa, he's been trying to call their house, or at least trying to, you know, call her aunt or something, and he gave us a bit of a clue saying that her aunt might, uh, her aunt never really answers, and then there's that whole bag that he helped her dispose of, again, fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't know why you decided to dispose it, but I mean, yeah, his reputation is on the line, but which one is worse, finding out that you've been fucking all these girls, or I mean, maybe even like underage girls, but like, or finding out that you helped somebody else dis uh, dispose of the body of a murder. Sexual offender or accessory to maybe first degree murder. Also, judging from him, uh, there is some assumption that maybe whoever in that- whoever is in that bag might be her aunt because she's never really seen, uh, so went to school to actually talk to any of the teachers for maybe like a parent, uh, student, uh, parent-teacher meeting kind of thing. She probably never, uh, visit the- visit the teachers and such, go to the school. So again, that it might be an assumption to that. I think I got everybody, other than Santo's terrible attempt of cleaning dry blood off of the wall. Just Google it, Santo, you'll be fine. Uh, if I got anything else that I need to write, it'll be in the description down below. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I've got my social medias, check me out on my Twitter, my Instagram, got my Discord, you can see that in the description down below if you want to hang out with me and uh, some other people. Also, got my Patreon page if you want to check that out and help me feed my habit. Other than that, thank you guys for sticking around and I'll see you guys in the next video.